really high football fever even higher. This year Football World Cup is the 21st edition of the tournament. But the first one is to be played in Russia. One month, 11 cities, 32 countries, 64 matches, countless moments, numerous emotions and in the end just one winner of the prestigious Jules Rimet Trophy or as we all have come to call it, the FIFA World Cup. Numbers gonna pile up, so will be the burden on our shoulder to bring you all the beautiful nuances of the game that can make it even easier. So to share the load, I have got my friend and co-host Alex who will take the action forward. Thank you so much Shita. My name is Alex. I'm not only gonna bring you the detailed analysis of each and every game during this World Cup, but also take you through the entire journey of 31 days so that we can break each and every match down. We're gonna focus on the probable 11, possible formations, substitutions, squads, analysis of depth so that we can predict not only the match winner but also the World Cup winner. There are possibilities that there's going to be a player who will be injured during the tournament. There's a possibility that there will be red carded players who are not going to play at crucial junctures at the tournament. All this cannot be predicted in one single prediction. So we got to come every day before the match and throw at you all the possible numbers, all the possible stats and facts so that we can draw a picture and come to a conclusion who will lift the famous World Cup trophy. Now when this World Cup started back in 1930, Uruguay as a host nation won it for the first time. Ten editions later, it was Argentina in the 11th FIFA World Cup who won it on their home soil. Ten editions later, we are in 21st century at the 21st FIFA World Cup. Can Russia do it again? It looks a far cry. They are ranked 70 in the world. 70, 70. That's a big drop from their earlier positions in FIFA ranking. Everyone's favorite Brazil is running high, but they again might run into a powerful Germany squad. Germany faces a problem of their own. No country has ever defended their football World Cup winning campaign. Now, that itself is a big statement. Because if this feat has to be repeated, a lot relies on the shoulder of the German keeper Manuel Neuer. Also with Brazil, there is Belgium, there is Portugal, there is Spain and there is not Italy and Netherlands. You heard me right, Netherlands and Italy both failed to qualify for this World Cup. There is also going to be Belgium who is going to be presenting a strong case at this World Cup. They've got a barrage of players, a string full of midfielding giants and legends on their own rights. De Bruyne, Eden Hazard, they can make any defense look stupid on their day. But they're missing Italy and Netherlands. What can we say about Netherlands' start to the last World Cup? They planked Spain 5-1 in their opening match. And Italy, what a shame four-time champion Giants are missing from this World Cup as well. So what does it leave for those nations who really work hard for centuries to make a name for themselves? There is a price at the end. A match that was played earlier in the year that proved that Iceland has made their presence in this year's World Cup. The smallest nation to represent with a population of 335,000 only. The economy in one of the largest countries in the world, Russia. It's no magic that we're still waiting for Lionel Messi to lift this eluded trophy so that finally everybody can say that he is the greatest player of his generation. Also to look out for is Spain, who can probably go ahead and repeat what they did back in 2010. It will be a little difficult for them, but we cannot rule them out. Also, who we cannot rule out is France. France has got a fantastic lineup full with speedy players from France. That's going to be very interesting to see Spain, Brazil, Germany and France in the semi-finals. 
I don't say that's gonna happen because we can never leave behind the unknown factors. For that, we'll have to come back every day before the match to present you all the unknowns and the knowns. Probably every day we'll be able to figure out who's gonna win the match, what the score line's gonna be, who will be the goal scorers, the heroes and the zeros of the match. And you can never count out the controversial referee decisions. Well, we can keep them aside for this World Cup probably because there is a new system in place that's gonna rule out all those possibilities. Let's see what the World Cup has in store for us. Let's see who's gonna win this World Cup. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe because we will be coming back each and every day with more and more knowledge, more and more information, more and more chances for us to find out what's gonna happen at this World Cup. And also, don't forget to mention in your comment section what you'd like to see. There are a lot of points that I might miss on, but I will really love to go back and do research on them and bring you the right possible results. So please like, share and subscribe Snootshot for more daily news and updates on every World Cup match so that we can go ahead and bring you who's going to win every match and the World Cup. Also in the comment section, don't forget to mention what next you would like to hear upon. There are a lot of points that I can miss out on, but I'd be glad to go back and do the detailed research and come back with an answer to it. This is Alex signing off from Goalpost. We'll be seeing you before the first World Cup match between Russia and Saudi Arabia. Hopefully the host nations can't lift the World Cup again and let the tradition continue. But till then, it's goodbye.